morning, and welcome to the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's celebrant will be Father Okumo. We ask that you silence your cell phones. And our opening hymn is number 526, Holy Wisdom, Lamp of Learning, 526. Oh, 
whom we are redeemed and receive adoption. Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God, He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared, then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing, then the streams burst forth in the desert, and rivers in the steppe. Burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. Word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith of our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For 
If a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay, pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and say, please sit here, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made a distinction among yourselves and become judges with evil design? Listen, my brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in this world to be rich in faith and heirs to the kingdom that he has promised those who love him? The word of the Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay hands on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned, and he said to him, Epita, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ears were opened, and his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all these things. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the past week, is talking about virtue. The prophets are sure the people of Israel, they are in different countries, but here we pray your God will come in vindication to recover the heart of virtue. The second reading of today is talking about 
how we treat each other. Some of the asking were addressed. Even in a church like this, as we welcome them very well and help them speak well. Another person comes in, homeless person, looking shabby, and they say, Brother, you don't want them. And God forbid, is talking about how the time of the living God, how Jesus Christ can take us and see them walk and walk well, hear and hear well. All of them have these provisions, but we may want to go back and be found. in a spaceship where you are so desperate, you are depressed, you are defeated to the point of giving up. And in such an expression, you wait for good news for someone to come and help you to get there from that spaceship. Maybe a friend, maybe a brother or a sister, to remove you from a situation that you feel so desperate, you feel so lonely, you feel that the end is coming. <coughs> I remember a couple of years ago, I narrated to you a story of a beautiful book in the read, an old book, maybe you cannot get it anymore, entitled Operation Thunderbolt of 90 minutes in Entebbe, Uganda. Beautiful book. It narrates of a story of a plane that had been hijacked and flooded into the country of Uganda during the reign of dictator killer called Idi Amin Dada. He had hundreds of passengers with eight Negotiation started. The state of Israel started to negotiate with Amin. But in the end, Amin said, Go here. Only 24 hours, and all of them will be killed. That nation prepared for the rescue mission. They went up to the airport and went to the plane within minutes. All the hijackers had been gunned down, and they knew exactly where the hostages were. As they came in, led by the brother of the present prime minister, Jonathan, that one was called Johnny, with a knife. And he was one of the major generals that was killed in Uganda during the operation. Anyway, when they came in, they went straight to the hostages and shouted in their language, in um, Hebrew language, Chevra, this is an army from Israel. We have come to rescue. Get up. All of them were rescued and taken to the plane where they fell. Apart from about eight soldiers who died, including Johnny, and one woman, Dora Block, who was a close friend at the time. But they were rescued and the bodies of those who are killed, the soldiers, were never seen. But the most important thing is, they told them, fear not. This is an army from home. We have come to rescue. So today, we see, we read about the children of Israel. They had been imprisoned in Babylon. They were so desperate. They were so dispirited. They were wondering what next. And then a voice comes in the person of the prophet Isaiah, come to them. He went to them. He talked to them. And he said to them, 
Do people fear not? Be strong. Here your God comes. He comes with a vindication. And he comes with divine recompense. Have faith. Believe. Your God is on the way. Help is on the way. Today, as we read those readings about fear not, about recompense, about vindication, about being saved, let's think of the moment we have imprisoned ourselves in the darkness of death. Let's think of the moment we have imprisoned ourselves in the darkness of sin. Let's think of those moments we feel depressed. We feel dispirited. Just open your ear and listen to the words of fear not. As we walk in this world, this passing material world, we come across so many challenges. So with those challenges we fear for the worst to happen to us, for the worst to happen to our community, for the worst to happen to our child. But the prophets were there speaking, assuring me that my Lord will not leave me alone. As long as I walk to God every day, as I call upon God every day, as I open up my life, as I open up my house, as I open up my community, for the presence of God. God is always among us. God will walk with the church through different transitions. The church has been around for 2,000 years, more than 2,000 years. God has walked with us. If you look at the history of salvation from Egypt to the promised land, God has walked with us. So those people who are being told, fear not, it's me and I, dead people who come here to worship together, who come here to pray together, who come here to sing together, who come here to receive the body of Christ here at the table of the Lord. The second reading calls, today is insisting on how we treat each other, how we look at each other. God wants us to understand that all of us, men and women, children, all the people who are here, senior members of this community, white and black, all of us are created in the image and likeness of God. So don't discriminate against anybody because Paul says plainly in the reading that we just had, saying that you will see some person come in, well dressed, you welcome them, and someone comes in, desperate, poor, and you don't welcome them. Don't show partiality in how you treat each other, even here in our own community. I was uh, watching a clip yesterday. <coughs> it sent me to tears. When a very poor man came in the restaurant somewhere, and there was a gentleman eating, enjoying his chicken and rice and food, whatever it was, but mostly it's chicken because when this poor man asked him for food, he took some coins that he had put aside and threw at that poor man and said, "Go away!" And a child about uh, fourth grade or third grade was sitting there with her mom, also eating the same restaurant. That child just walked to that poor man and took the coin from his cloth and threw back the coin back to the man in front of them. And he wheeled that man to his wheelchair and put that man at the other table and took the food that she was eating and gave that man. And the man, in the end, shared her bread with her daughter. Sometimes we show partiality. Sometimes we belittle people who don't know. It could be people in this country. Friends, the gospel of the day is powerful. The first 
thing that I want to analyze in the gospel of the day is the fact that this man did not go to Jesus at all. It is the community that brought him to Jesus. The community. He had a fit in bed. So the community, this is now the work of the community. What is it that we can do together? We have always to bring a man like that to God, to Jesus. This man would be you. So as a community, you see the faith and the love of the community, the love that they had for this man who had a speech impediment. So they all went, carried him, and brought him to Jesus and said to Jesus, Please, sir, touch him. He needs help. Touch him. And Jesus touched him and healed him. But his speech impediment was healed and he was able to talk to Jesus. Friends, who is this man? This man is you, is me, is all of us who are here. Let us work together as a community to bring our children to God. We have a speech impediment. We cannot praise God. We have some problems. We cannot walk up and down. This is the time we want to see now the power of Jesus because they brought him to Jesus because they knew that in Jesus, this man will find healing. In Jesus, you and I can find healing. In Jesus, you and I can find a free of charge of blood and care. In Jesus, you, all of you who are here, we can find compassion. So Jesus continues touching us every day that we may be able to see, to see the needs of our community and reach out to help our community grow. To see the needs of the poor person seated next to you. To see the needs of a youth, a young person struggling with addiction. Today, that healing is made for us. Then in the end, after the man started walking, after the man started speaking plainly, he wanted not to tell anybody. But the more he wanted, the more they said, you come out to me about him. So in the end, they acknowledged and said, he has done what is fair. He does what is fair. Let us open our lives to him. Let us open our minds to him. Let us open our houses to him. Let us open our communities to him. That we may day to day do good things to love and to love. And that we may also, as members of Christ's family, love to do good things as he has taught us. He keeps saying, this one should be love one another. I believe in one God. The God and the God. The God is not consubstantial the Father. To him all things we are made. Our prayer and consultation became one. He ascended in heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory like the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father, the Son, and the Lord, and the Lord is life. He has spoken to the prophets, calling Catholic and Apostolic Church. I have told the one baptism and forgiveness of sins. You are 
cried out, O oh Lord, and your judgment is right. Hear the prayers of your church and treat your servants in accord with your mercy, Lord. For the church, that we bring the good news of freedom and justice to the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please, for nations throughout the world, that they show no partiality and respect the humanity of all global citizens. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children and young people at the beginning of a new school year, that they may discover their gifts, grow in their friendships, and deepen their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For environmentalists, that we heed their call to change our human actions to benefit the preservation of the earth and all of God's creation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and homebound, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, especially Beverly Lorenzo, that they sing the praises of God forever in the liturgy of the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the prayers that we bring to this Mass, which we hold within the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, help us to heed the voice of those who I need. Gather us all together and call us to your love. Five hundred and eighteen to live with him forever. Five one eight.
for to God Almighty. May these sacred offerings, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of our salvation, that uh, what we celebrate in mystery, it may accomplish our good and Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thank the Lord our God. For your right and just our salvation, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever give you thanks, most holy, almighty, and eternal. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal history. And so with all the angels and saints in heaven, we praise you as in a joyful celebration. We are Similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Son, our Lord Jesus. 
of Christ through him and with him and in him of God Almighty in the unity of the Holy Spirit of glory and honor is to us forever and ever. Number 512, 
as the Dear Long 512. Hundred and fifty six Ubi Caritas three five six. Yeah. 
for our Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, the full benefit of your beloved Son's great gift, that we may be able to come and share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 A few announcements. Next week, September 15th, after the 10.30 Mass, we will hold our joint parish family picnic. The Knights of Columbus, once again, will grill some hot dogs and hamburgers for us. Everyone is encouraged to bring and share their favorite salad or dessert. There will be a soccer game challenge with Father Okomo. The sign-up to play is in the Hanate. The game is not in the Hanate. Only the sign-up. Faith formation and youth programs registration is under construction and will open soon. Informal information day is today, September 8th. After the 10:30 mass in the regular room, if you have any questions or would like to know more about our programs, please plan to attend. The God is Good gift shop will be open next weekend, September 14th and 15th, in the narthex after each mass. Please bring cash or check for payment. And make, and make a purchase. All proceeds go to the offertory fund. Thank you in advance for your support. Following the announcement regarding the picnic, I really would like to see people of my age, even above, please uh, sign up. If you cannot pray, but just come and be a cheerleader and dance around, you will have the team from Holy Rosary, you will have the team from here, and you will have the team from uh, kids, uh, children, uh, young adults, youth, up to people like me and even friends. So it will be a fun, it will be a fun, it will be a fun um, morning, evening, and, and afternoon. Please come and be with us for that team. Okay? And then last week, do we have any visitors? This is for the first time or first time in a long time. Please come to the next Sunday service. We welcome you to come once more. Any visitors? Oh, just really quick. Where are these people? From, from Texas. Welcome. Thank you. From Arizona. Thank you. Welcome. Come again. A couple there from where? Tennessee. Please rise. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, proclaiming the gospel with our lives. Thanks be to God. Number 619, Rain Down. Number 619.